Ooh, um, I guess firstly, um, to my family, mum and dad, my aunties and uncles and, and mum's partner, David, uh, all the girls would know my mum travels um, to every single game and probably unlucky for some at home because you can hear her yelling on the TV at home and away games. But um, yeah, just my absolute rock, literally doesn't miss a game no matter where we are. We certainly flew across the countryside this year from Perth, Brisbane, Canberra at 11 a.m. And, and whatnot. But I certainly wouldn't be able to be up here and, and the athlete I am um, without your continuous support over the many years that I've played football. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> to the girls, like, just love you all. Um, so proud of the growth this year that we've seen. Um, and you don't, you don't, you aren't able to flourish without good people around you. And, you know, you talk about the young girls stepping up and they've probably been named, but seeing the likes of Danielle Ponta, um, you know, come down with her partner, Nate, from Darwin, like, like you, you, I don't think people really understand what Danielle has given up. And I love that <laughs> Randy and MJ got little Tommy because it's like her little nephew now. But like these sacrifices that some of these girls make and, and to see, you know, Danielle reap the rewards of that and, you know, another one in Eloise Jones, you know, find her spot in the forward line. Um, incredible growth from not only our young players but our leaders um, to drive this team forward um, has been incredible. We've... You know, we're going to see Montana McKinnon. I, I would want to give a little shout out to her because, you know, it, it's been really challenging and hard for her and been quite close with her. But to see her, I guess, spread her wings, um, you, you, it's sad to see people, good people go, but you wish them well. Um, and then we had Jess Allen come in, you know, what she's been in the army, Canberra doing her thing and then she gets to you know come back and, and play with her sister and that was extra special and loved forming that partnership and hopefully we'll see more of Danielle Ponta um, and then just touching on like I wouldn't be up here um, Hatch you know we're the jeweler and love working with you and I think we're just going to continue to grow and, and learn um, and get better together and, and help drive this um, club to hopefully another premiership. I, I could rattle on here but I'll probably just touch on uh, yeah, all amazing and Nadji, my little vault chat. Um, thanks for <laughs> listening to me, Ben. And yeah, you, all the young girls, probably Katie, Hannah, I'm going to stop there. But anyway, love you all. And I know we're going to go on to do great things. So have your holiday. Get training in January. Um, no, maybe what February Doc said. But um, to the support staff, Jess touched on you know, me having surgery, Chris, Geordie, in, in particular CJ, thank you for spending the hours um, most days with me over the past, what, we're now December, so probably 11 months. Um, couldn't be here without you. Doc, thank you for challenging me. Yeah, the smarty pants, you're the bra brains behind it all. I value our chats and your honesty week in, week out, and I know that your door's always open. Kat, Phil and Vicky, this program would not, be possible, literally, but the unwavering support that you give us girls, um, we'd be lost without you, so please never leave or retire. Tim, make sure you look after them. Um, I've probably forgotten a few, but thank you so much. This club is such an incredible spot to be. Tim, your value in this program, it wouldn't be able to be where it is and continue to get where it is without your support. Um, and the board, you backed us in from day one and you'll continue to back us in and here's to bigger and better things in 2024.